Hello and welcome to Rathod's IES. Today in this session, we are going to see Canadafides of 8th April 2024. So here we are going to take Delhi edition of Hindu and we are going to see like important topics which appear from our examination point of view and we are going to see in different dimensions how we can connect that topic. And one more thing is we are connecting a single topic with different subjects. So in this way you can write an answer which is multi-dimensional. So this multi-dimensional approach is very helpful to clear your UPSC examination. Because mains is a ball game. So in mains you have to write your answers in multi-dimensional manner. And especially in your essay you have to include as many dimensions as possible. So that exercise we are going to see in this news analysis so that you will be getting habituated like improving of thinking process and even you will be thinking from different subjects and whenever you are reading one subject you can interconnect the same subject with other subjects as well. So in this way we will be having an integrated preparation of current fights from both your prelims and mains point of view. And one more thing I can say is I have an experience of 5 years in this news analysis. And I personally have struggled like more than two years to understand current affairs when I was preparing for UPSC. And I'm not writing this UPSC and I'm completed with my attempts. And one more thing here is with my five years of experience, so I can say like which is the approach that is required for UPSC examination and how you have to read current affairs and even I can expect like important topics that you can get in your prelims and mains and soon I will be uh, providing you like 100 important topics from where you can get questions in your prelims for sure for 2024. So if you are preparing that topics at least 30 to 35 questions that you can get directly from that topics okay and now let us see the front page and this is the first article which is relevant. And one sincere request from my side here is, please don't read each and every article in your newspaper. That is waste of your time. Only see the articles which are relevant from our UPSC point of view. But how can you know like which topic is important? Yes, you have to see the syllabus. Syllabus will guide you in the way to reach your goal. And second source is PYQs. You have to see previous questions so that you can understand where UPSC is asking questions. And we started this previous questions analysis series from 2011 to 2023. And we upload around five to six videos from geography and polity point of view. And today we are going to upload one video from history also. So try to watch all those series and complete that series so that you can understand important themes and how UPSC is trapping students and what are the important trends of UPSC and most favorite topics of UPSC and repeated themes all you will be knowing if you go through the PYQs okay so don't miss that series try to watch each and every video okay now let us see the front page and this is the first article it is about traders rue traders rue underpriced onion exports to UAE so this article is talking about exports of onion to other countries so if you are talking about this article so it is talking about some important dimensions first one is it is talking about onion trade it is talking about onion trade so in this trade we will be having two important concepts exports and imports so i hope you know what is the meaning of export and import export means from one country we are moving to another country we are sending to another country that is exports and imports means from other country we are getting the products that is called as imports so here this article is talking about onion exports that means from India to UAE, we are sending onion. So this is the title which said. But what is the issue here is, 
from india to uae we are sending onion at a very low price for example price here is rupees 12 or rupees 15 per kg but after going into uae so in uae they are selling this for 120 rupees per kg so there is a huge price margin right so they are uh, buying for 12 to 15 rupees per kg but they are selling 120 per kg that means who are in profits so uae people they are in profits and indian farmers they are in loss so if you see our government of india's target it is to double farmers income it is to double farmers income correct so how can we increase the income of farmers so government said that we can increase the exports so that farmers will be getting good price but in this exports from india to uae here they are getting very low price so this is the one important issue and next important dimension is you have to see about this onion so onion it is a vegetable without this onion we can't go for doing of biryanis or any like even maggi okay so i will be including onion carrot beans okay everything okay like mixed vegetable in maggi so without onion i can't do maggi i don't know about you whether you will be adding just only masala that is given in that packet or not but even in my home i will be doing maggi that will be like including of multi vegetables so here onion is very important in our food right so here the problem is whenever we are going for onion price so it is highly volatile in market that means now at present here in hyderabad onion prices 20 rupees per kg like uh, for 100 rupees we are getting 5 kg in some areas 4 kg if onion is like big big in size and if you are like fresh you will be getting like 4 kg per 100 rupees and normally if it is not much clean and neat you will be getting like 5 kg per 100 rupees so if you see during navratri period especially during october november the price of this onion will be increased to around 80 rupees per kg and even 150 rupees per kg in india okay so here we are having very high volatile prices of this onion in market not only onion we can see pot potato onion tomato so these are the three important vegetables their price is highly volatile in market so here government always will plans to control this price of this pot so whenever this pot prices are increasing what happens that will be increasing of price of thali okay price of thali means for meals there is increasing of price so it also leads to food inflation and this food inflation we are seeing because of increasing of vegetable prices in market okay that is a one important thing and you have to see from geography point of view in which areas we will go for growing of onion in india okay so all these are very important concepts and now the issue is so yes we can see like there is volatility in the market yes or no yes because of this volatility government of india need to take steps to stabilize the price to stabilize the price government said that we are going to ban exports so whenever there is ban of exports what happens we can make this onion domestically available that is required quantity we can make available in the domestical market so that we can control the price but here now we are seeing export of onion to this uae and even you can see map of uae from geography point of view okay and i have to see like why onion price in uae had been increased because from india and from england so in some other countries so there is a ban of exports are happening so because of this it is affecting the availability of onion domestically in this uae markets so because of this the price had been increased and especially uae which is the country okay which is arab country right so because of this most of the economy of this country is depend upon oil crude oil gas reserves etc 
so there is nothing much agriculture is seen here so because of this so these arab countries that depends upon the imports for food items okay clear so these all are the some important things that you have to see and here we discussed about government government policies and we discussed about economy gs paper 3 and geography that is gs paper 1 and international relations gs paper 2 so in these subjects you can read this single article so if you are understanding like how to read this current affairs and how to connect the things so please do hit the like button and one more request is i am giving like a google review link of rathod's is academy in the description so please click that link and give your review in that google so that will be very helpful for me if you want to do the favor for this analysis please do that favor give your honest google review okay yes and now let us see this article in detail let us try to understand what this article wants to say and there is also like a high chance of getting question in your prelims regarding uae please because it is highly serious news so please see this map of uae for sure don't forget and if you see here this article which is talking about onion exports to uae from india so here director general of foreign trade that is dgft and i want to give you one small homework students so please do research regarding this dgft that is director general of foreign trade so dgft announced a ban on onion exports until march 2024 issuing a notification converting the export policy of onions from free to prohibited okay so now dgft announced a ban on onion exports until march 2024 and actually so this had been done but now what happened so despite of this ban now we are seeing like exports exports to uae and if you see indian farmer is being paid just rupees 12 to rupees 15 per kg of onions which are procured for export and the same onion in this uae stores you are selling for more than 120 rupees per kg so fearing a domestic short shortage so whenever we are promoting exports that will create temporary shortage right sometimes we can see the shortage of onion in the market so because of this government had imposed a ban on exports in december month and extending it indefinitely till further orders last month and actually on march 1st center permitted export of 14400 tons of onions to uae and there is a cap of 3600 tons out of this here 3000 tons of exports were cleared last month and commerce ministry la last week okay an additional 10000 tons of onion to this uae and if you see here the current supply shortage is caused by nearly depletion of 2022 to 2023 rabi season stocks and actually even this curry also we have a very low output of this onion and even there is increased demand for this onion for this festivals and because of this we can see the significant rise of onion prices and if you see here whenever we are going for this restriction of onion exports government which is aimed to prevent price surges or fluctuations within the domestic market and we can also see like how to combat the increasing of prices so to combat this spiraling prices here center had imposed minimum export price of us dollars 800 per ton on onions in 2023 and later on in earlier uh, august the government imposed 40 percentage of export duty on onions as well so that here government want to like discourage exports of onion to other countries so this is about this topic and now let us move on to the next topic so actually there are many articles in our editorial page they are related to health because april 7th every year we are celebrating as world health day so there are number of articles like health equity and universal health okay universal health and even like suicides in india 
so all those are the important topics to related to the health and in your gs paper especially in your governance you will be having this topic of health so you have to see this topics in a most important way and even from gs paper in the science and technology also we have health okay so now let's get see those articles and in the city page there is nothing important and even the state page there is nothing important in today's paper so you can directly move on to this editorial page so here you can see one important article that is gone too soon gone too soon the subject of youth suicides in india okay so it is talking about suicides in india so especially there is increased rate of suicides in youth okay so we are going to see this article and this very important and now let us see the dimensions so before seeing dimensions i want to announce about this offline and online courses that we are offering in rathod's is so rathod's is academy started offline and we have good experience in teaching and especially you can understand like how rathod science academy's current affairs is different from any other current affairs which is posted in youtube and we are trying to incorporate the skills that is exactly needed for the upsc and what exactly upsc is searching in the aspirants and in this offline course one thing that we decided here is if you are not going to clear at least prelims at least prelims in the first attempt we are going to refund 50% of your fee that you paid why because we had a huge experience and the faculty or who wrote the mains so they know exactly what upsc is demanding so what upsc is seeing the aspirants and from the day one onwards we have mains answer reading practice and we have mains test series and also we have prelims test series okay and prelims practice and after every subject you will be having separate prelims and mains and especially before your prelims you will be having separate dedicated classes for prelims along with daily practice of questions so this is such a practice no one and no where you found yes this is true because we started this offline from last two months and last two months onwards i started mentoring the students and every day at least i will be talking to 5 to 10 students who come into this offline branch and the problem that i found was like they completed their coaching but they never and ever saw previous questions or even they didn't had write there even a single prelims test so this is a tragedy of different institutes that is going on but if you join here in this rathod is for 100 percent i can say with my five years of experience we can guess topics which are going to come in your prelims and mains for sure and we are going to have the rigorous practice and we are going to provide study hall for the students free study hall so after the class you can sit here and you can study entire day okay so with all these facilities we are providing i am very much pretty sure 100% sure that you are going to clear prelims and if you are not going to clear at least prelims then 50% of fee that you paid is refunded so this is a challenge and this is not given in any way in india okay the only rathod size is coming with us so we have a batch size of only 70 students in a batch and there will be one to one mentorship on every sunday so already seats are booked by the students only few seats are left so if you want to clear the prelims and if you are very much serious to become an ias or ips officer and if you want to clear upsc for sure if it is if it is your strong aim come and join the rathod's ias offline branch okay offline batch and this offline batch is going to be started from july second week okay clear yes and now let us move on to next topic so next topic it is about suicides in india okay suicides in india so this article it is talking about especially suicides in youth so normally you can see like suicides in women farmer and youth 
but this article is talking about especially youth so we are going to see like what are the dimensions that you have to see yes i am saying suicide is happening and you might be knowing if you are coming up with different articles or if you are seeing like scenario in your states yes you will be knowing that yes suicides are happening in youth but here whenever you are writing answer you should be like substantiating your answer with the data so you can write what is this ncrb report is saying about this suicides in india especially youth suicide and you have to see like what all the causes for this suicides in india and you have to see like what are the measures can be taken and you have to see one more dimension like what are the steps already taken by government what are the steps already taken by the government so this is very very important and this article is important from your gs paper to under society and you can see from gs paper to under health and next one is under gs paper 3 economy why because whenever youth they are committing suicide whenever they are losing their lives that will be also having impact on economy and you have to connect this with gs paper to like how government can address this issue and suicide is one important topic that we can relate with gs paper 4 that is ethics so how can we dis- decrease this suicides by changing attitude of students by changing attitude so in this way so we can connect this topic with these five subjects okay now let us see this topic in detail so let us try to understand what is given in this article in the newspaper suicide which is tragic and untimely loss of human life so this suicide is devastating for the family for the economy the society everywhere it is having the impact and if you see the data if you see suicide i will be getting one important thing in my mind always i will be feeling like negative because my father committed suicide yes at that time i was just 6 years even i i not i didn't turn like 6 years so i was least 5 years old when i lost my father so because of this whenever i see this word anywhere i will be feeling very very bad and i won't understand like whenever you are committing suicide why can't you understand like what impact that is going to be in the future yes if you want to commit suicide and if you want to end your life you have to always think about what will be the impact on society what will be the impact on the family who depend on that so here because of this suicide it is having more devastating and more perplexing events later on so your ncrb data is saying that 1.71 lakh people they died by suicide in 2022 in 2022 here 1.71 lakh people they died by suicide in 2022 and the suicide rate has increased to 12.4% okay for every 1 lakh and we can see like there will be like a highest rate ever recorded in india so in india there is high rate of suicides are going on and this is the report which said by ncrb national crime record bureau and unfortunately about 41 percentage of all suicides they are by young people who are below 30 years of age that means these people they will come under demographic dividend okay so here if they are not ending their life they might contribute a lot to the economy they might contribute to the growth and development of the country yes and a young indian dies by suicide every 8 minutes for every 8 minutes there is one suicide which is going on that to especially young indian so here which is a loss to family so whenever any suicide is happening that is like incredible loss to the family and next one is society economy and also the future of our country because today's children are tomorrow citizens right so these people after entering into this adolescent age so they have to contribute something to their family 
something to the society, something to the country. So if the ending life means everything will go into trash. And next one is what are the reasons for the suicides in India? Suicides in young people is best understood as multi detriment. So it may be because of different reasons, not only single reason. So it is like a multiple reason that is interaction between biological, psychological, familial and social culture factors because of all these things. And if you see a current review of adolescent suicides in India, which shows that most commonly reported risk factors. So what are the risk factors? They were like mental health issues. And next one is negative or traumatic family issues. And even because of academic stress, like failing of examinations. And this one is social and lifestyle factors. And even because of violence, economic distress and relationship factors. My father, he committed suicide because of economic distress. And next one is there were like specific social culture factors for suicides among young girls and women. And arranged and early marriages, especially in girls, they are going for suicides because of domestic violence, arranged marriage or early marriage, young motherhood and some social status, low social status, domestic violence, economic dependence. So they are well documented. And even in youth now, they are going for consuming of alcohol, drugs, etc. So it is also one of the known risk factor for suicide in youth. And especially even because of improving of science and technology, so uh, youth, they are using this technology and spending of lots and lots of amount of time in social media. Sometimes they also be attacked by the cyber bullying. So it is also one important reason, especially during this uh, COVID-19 times, so the number of loan apps, uh, loan apps that led to the increasing of suicides in youth, especially in our state of Telangana. And this one is what are the solutions? So whenever any problem which is faced by these youth people, so one should be there to guide them, right? So youth people, they can be taught problem solving. How can we solve the problems? And this one is impulse control. And this one is emotional regulation skills. Along with, we can also focusing on help seeking behavior. And apart from that, early identification of mental distress it is one important thing that we have to focus. So here government or any family or society need to provide youth friendly environment. Youth friendly environment is very much essential to control the suicides in youth. And this one is adopting a healthy lifestyle like good diet, regular activity, physical activity, moderate and appropriate use of internet and cultivating supportive friendships and we can do some yoga, meditation etc. So that if you're doing these activities, that will help your mental health and also reduce the suicides in young or youth. And even we can also improve family environments by reducing this domestic violence and alcohol consumption and even providing economic assistance to the needy people so that that will be reduces the societal behavior. And this one is educational reforms, like for example, alternative assessment methods and even provisions to explore the potential of young persons are very much needed. And it's when the societal changes to reduce stigma and detriment and discrimination based on caste, religion, sexuality. So those problems need to be addressed. So if you're taking these steps, yes, we can decrease the rate of suicides in youth. And apart from that, India, government of India also took some steps to control this youth suicides so first one is the ministry of health came up with a task force in november 2019 and finally here government of india developed national suicide prevention strategy for india and the final strategy was launched on november 2022 and the important objective of this national suicide prevention strategy is to reduce suicide by 10 percentage by 2030 to reduce suicide by 10% by 2030, it is the target under this National Suicide Prevention Strategy. And this strategy which is focusing on the need to leverage education institutions and youth organizations. So and even it is focusing to promote mental health and reduce substance and behavior addictions, 
through school health ambassadors and youth clubs so in this way your government is trying to reduce especially suicides in youth and now let us see the next question sorry next topic not question yeah so next topic is shaping india's path to inclusive healthcare so we are focusing on inclusive healthcare especially because of world health day that we are celebrating on every april 7th okay april 8th okay not april 7th so here because of this yes we are having like issues of health that comes into picture and you have to see this year theme of world health organizations world health day and you have to see like what is this concept of health equity so let me write the dimensions first so this article is talking about universal health care and also inclusive health care so there are two topics we are going to see together so first one is inclusive health care and second one is universal health care so here in this inclusive health care so we are not including everyone in this health care that is a problem so here if you see in healthcare system we have like different tiers like primary healthcare system secondary tertiary okay so if you see here even in some villages and remote areas they don't have this ph this primary healthcare system and especially in some women there is high rates of anemia in some uh, tribal groups like st so there is high rate of maternal mortality rate and infant mortality rate and they do not have the proper access to the drinking water sanitation etc so here this inclusive healthcare is talking about health equity so regarding this health equity you have to know what is this health equity and what are the challenges in india especially why we are not achieving this health equity and you have to see what is the solution and this may be your mains question mains 2024 you will be getting question regarding health equity and even universal health care is very important and you have to see what is this universal health care and especially have to see like what are the steps taken by the government for example what are the government schemes what are the government schemes which are focusing on this universal health care and you can write some mains questions and as well as prelims questions regarding this topic and overall this topic is very important from your health and we are going to see these together these two together okay first one is inclusive healthcare so now what happened because of this covid 19 pandemic so we understood like what are the loopholes that we are having in our healthcare system right so there is an alarming gap in healthcare access it has been highlighted by this covid 19 pandemic so if covid 19 pandemic had not appeared means like we might not know about what are the loopholes to present in our healthcare system it's true okay so here covid 19 epidemic environmental crisis and growing socio economic gaps so they mainly said that yes there are some healthcare gaps here present and even though over 140 nations they recognized health as a constitutional right so who council on the economics of health for uh, all reports which said that half of the world's population half of the world's population needs complete access to essential health services and with the passage of world health day 2024 so we are focusing especially on this health equity okay we are focusing on this health equity so what exactly health equity means so health equity is nothing but every person has equal opportunity for what to achieve their health, highest health potential no matter what their circumstances for example like which caste you are belonging to which region you are belonging to which language you are speaking okay so what are the environmental factors economic factors so despite of all these things they need to have the proper access or equal opportunity to achieve this health potential so that is the meaning of this health equity 
and if you are talking about true health equity it need to address the root cause of health inequities for example because of poverty so people they can't afford much and this one is because of discrimination and even in some hospitals some category or some caste people you are not allowed in especially rural areas and this one is there is very limited access to high quality education and they do not have proper healthier diet and clean water fresh air housing and merely they are granting equal access to the healthcare so despite of all these things yes we have to provide equal access to the healthcare that is called as health equity for example if a child born into a poverty in a rural area who have no access to a clean water wholesome food immunization which lays the foundation for chronic health problems okay so we should not consider all those things we have to provide opportunity for each and every one to access to the healthcare that is the concept of health equity and if you are talking about what are the challenges of india's health equity so according to 2011 census urban slums they make up over 17 percentage of india's metropolitan areas and they exhibit serious health disparities and even health risk they are increased by overcrowding poor sanitation and even there is restricted access to the clean water in many areas in india and because of this infection diseases like tuberculosis they are 1.5 times very high in slum areas compared to non slum areas and even national family health survey is saying that scheduled caste and scheduled tribes they experience high child mortality because of lower immunization rates and additionally 59 percentage of women in the lowest wealth they have anemia compared to that of this high wealth people okay so here we can see like how, how this health equity is seen like so it is like the intersection of caste gender economic status in health outcomes so even the gender so males and females so females do not have proper access to the health care compared to that of males and this one is a critical shortage of doctors exacerbates these issues so here who data which is indicating like only 0.8 doctors per 1000 people which is very below okay very low level so even though over 75 percentage of healthcare professionals they are working in metropolitan regions or cities only 27 percentage of population they are working in the rural areas this is also an important issue and apart from this to move india towards universal health coverage and more equitable future so here government civil society healthcare providers and communities they need to work together so these are the solutions like how can we achieve this health equity and apart from that we are having institutions international institutions international organizations now for example who global fund gavi support health initiatives so they are having very limited resources so we have to increase the fund okay and this one is we have to focus on effective collaboration among many sectors for example we have to focus on this grassroots organizations we have to significantly enhance health equity and we have to pave the path for a time okay for the access to this high quality health care and now let us see next topic it is about universal health coverage so this article is also very important so what is the meaning of this universal health coverage so universal health coverage in simple language it refers to healthcare system where all individuals and communities they have access to quality healthcare services so without facing any financial hardship so here because here quality healthcare is a human right for all individuals so here because of this each and every one they have to uh, get the access to this quality healthcare system so this is the meaning of universal health care yes and now let us see the status so in our constitution so there are some articles which talking about this health care that is article 39 e article 42 article 47 so they are focusing on securing of health 
and securing of or improving of living standards and we have to enhance public health and next one is united nations designated december 12th as international universal health coverage day in 2017 and even we have sustainable development goal 3.8 so this sustainable development goal 3.8 which also aims to achieve universal health coverage and even india is aiming to achieve universal health coverage by expanding like we have some schemes like ayushman bharat pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana that is a b p m a y p m j a y and next one is we have flagship publicly financed health insurance that is pffi scheme and even government came with a number of initiatives so first one is ayushman bharat scheme so ayushman bharat scheme which had been launched in 2018 so it is consisting of two components first one is health and wellness center and this one is pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana so it is providing health uh, insurance coverage and this one is we have this national health mission so it is trying to provide affordable accessible and quality health care to rural and underprivileged populations and this one is we have this national ambulance service 102 so it had been set up okay so it is focusing on emergency service vehicles and even we have one not eight service which aims at responding within the golden hour and this one is we have this national list of essential medicines and essential diagnostic list so they had been notified that are periodically updated to ensure availability of more essential okay and even we have this national form of pricing authority so it is to monitor availability of drugs and to identify shortages and to make remedial steps and even government came up with this a national nutrition mission so which is an objective for reducing under nutrition and even stunting by 2% and even under this g20 presidency who launched global initiative of digital health and this is focusing on boosting investments and to facilitate international health exchange and next one is we can also focus on increasing of doctor population ratio it, that is 1 is to 854 is a better okay world health organization standard ratio is of 1 is to 1000 and next one is government also came up with this uh, central sector scheme so it is focusing on coming up of new aims okay so these are the some important things that government is focusing to improve universal health coverage and now i want to give you one prelims based question so with reference to national rural health mission which of the following are the jobs of asha trained community health worker first one is accompanying women to health facility for antenatal care check up and next one is using pregnancy test kits for early di- uh, detection of pregnancy next one is providing information on nutrition and immunization conducting of delivery of the baby so which of the following codes are correct so please let me know the answer for this question it is very simple now let us move on to our hindu page so i covered this editorial and as well as opinion page so now let us move on to this text and context page so here there is one important article that is about what would be impact of the baltimore bridge collapse so you can get a question like recently baltimore bridge is in use where it is located so here the port of baltimore it is the ninth largest us port by overall trade volume and in 2023 around 50 million tons of goods between us and other countries happened through this baltimore port so the immediate Im- impact of this collapse was felt by 15000 and so workers in the port and about 140000 people who depend on that port and actually houthi attacks on ships in red sea and panama canal they have lengthened the delivery times and increased the cost of companies that rely on east coast port so because of this further collapse of this baltimore port that is leading to the increasing of time of delivery and even that will be increasing of price and even that will be disrupting of supply chains so this is the thing that is given in this article and let us move on to next page 
so in this news page i didn't found anything and leave this election page okay that's all so these are the very important topics that appear in our today's hindu newspaper so by this i'm concluding and i will show like exactly where can you get the notes of this class this is rathod's is classes telegram channel so do join this channel so that you can get pdf of the class and even you will be getting like important topics uh, video links everything so that you will be not missing any class and this is our website rathod's is academy website if you want to take the online coaching and prelims is very much near if you are facing problem with any single subject you can take like single subject course and if you click on this play course you can watch three demo videos without paying a single penny so after watching those three videos if you like that then only you can go for purchasing of the course and if you have any queries regarding the offline or online you can call me on this number 8074765513 and even this is whatsapp number so that you can text on whatsapp or telegram and this is our rathod's is academy youtube channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon as well okay so that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this class thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like share and comment and do subscribe to rathod's is academy